Hey y'all, it's Paris and I'm back with another video. So today I just want to share with you guys that God is enlarging your territory. God is enlarging your territory, okay? So before I get into this word, I want to ask you guys to please take this word back to the Lord. Please go to God for confirmation and ask him, is this your season? Is this your word, okay? And so with that being said, I want to also um, let you guys know that I am a certified life coach for, for those of you who are new to my channel. And so if you guys would like to book a coaching session or become a certified life coach, please go to my website at parismaze.com, okay? And so with that being said, I want to talk to you guys about God enlarging your territory, okay? So the thing is, a lot of us have different callings. A lot of us have different assignments. And so with that being said, we may think that, you know, we're going to work on this one thing for the rest of our life. And that's not it. Okay, what I'm learning right now in this season is that there are several things that God wants me to do. God has given me glimpse of things that he's calling me to do. He's given me opportunities um, of different things that he's calling me to do, things that I've never imagined, right? And so we know with, you know, Ephesians 3.20, it talks about, you know, God, you know, doing exceedingly and abundantly above all that we could ask or think. Okay. And so the thing is, God is enlarging your territory. He is basically doing things that you didn't even ask for things that you couldn't, e couldn't even have imagined for yourself. Okay. And so I'm going to give you guys um, a perfect, perfect example. So, um, growing up, I always watched, um, I young love Van Zandt. And so I never told my parents this, but I remember watching her show and I remember saying to myself, like, I want to become a life coach. That was like my dream. Okay. And so I didn't know, um, how, you know, God was going to make it happen. I just knew that I wanted to become a life coach. And so, you know, I tried to go to school, you know, for, for counseling, but God didn't have that in his plans. And so later on, I finally became a certified life coach. Okay. So I thought, you know, I was done. Okay. So boom, I finally become a certified life coach. Then I'm like, okay, Lord, why do I feel like there's more? Why do I feel like, you know, this is not it. And so God was sharing with me that this is not it. Okay. And so then people kept coming to me, um, you know, through my email, you know, asking me like, do I know, um, who certifies people to, you know, become life coaches. And so, um, I just kept getting all these people. And so I was like, Lord, like, are you trying to tell me, you know, that I need to figure out a way to, you know, certify people. And so I asked God for confirmation and he gave me that confirmation and it was all spirit led. And so God began to, you know, basically show me that Paris, I want you to enlarge your territory. Paris, I want you to now, now that you're a life coach, I want you to prepare other people to become life coaches. Okay. And so I'm not saying this to brag to you guys, but I'm saying this to give you guys an example of God enlarging your, te your, your, your territory. You're thinking you're going to be one thing, but God wants to expand that. You think that, you know, um, you have a small business, but God wants to expand that small business. Okay. God wants to expand your ministry. He wants to expand your YouTube channel. There's so many things that God wants to do for you. Okay. Another example of, of, you know, God expanding your territory is just like with um the lady Risa Tisa, okay? So she basically got famous off of her her testimony. And so with that being said, that wasn't all that God had for her, okay? Because now, you know, she's going, you know, she's going all over the world, you know, telling her testimony, doing this, doing that. She's bought a home. Um now she she's coming out with her own show. God is enlarging her ter territory. Okay? And so the thing is it is not just for Risa Tisa. It is not just for me. It is also for you, okay? For whoever this word, word is for, God is also enlarging your territory, okay? He's expanding what you already have. He's expanding your testimony. He's going to work through your testimony. He's going to work through everything that, that you've done since you were younger. It's going to all come together. It's going to all come together, okay? And so... In Isaiah chapter uh, 54, it says, um, starting at verse 2 in the NIV version, it says, Enlarge the place of your tent. Stretch your tent curtains wide. Do not hold back. Lengthen your cords. Strengthen your stakes. For you will spread out to the right and to the left. 
your descendants will dis dispossess nations and settle in their desolate cities. Do not be afraid. You will be you will not be put to shame. Do not fear disgrace. You will not be humiliated. You will forget the shame of your youth and remember no more the reproach of your widowhood. So, with that being said, um, starting at verse 2 and 3, enlarge the place of your tent. Stretch your tent curtains wide. Do not hold back, okay? And so, there's a lot of, there's going to be um, a lot of things that God wants you to work on, okay? There's, there's going to be some opportunities presented to you, and you're going to have to go back to God and ask him, you know, is this opportunity from you? And if it is, you're going to see that these opportunities are going to expand your brand. It's going to expand your, your ministry. It's going to expand your calling, your assignment, okay? And so in verse three, where it says, for you will spread out to the right and to the left, your descendants will dispossess nations and settle in their desolate cities. Okay. And so here's the thing. Again, God wants to expand you. You got to make room. You got to make room. Okay. Make room in your mind. Okay. Because sometimes we think small and God wants to do things big in our lives. Some of us, we're so used to poverty. We're, we're, we're so used to not having things that we expect, you know, our lives to, you know, just be in a box. And so for whoever this word is for, God doesn't want your life to be in a box. He wants to do more. If you would allow him to, if you would allow him to use you, he wants to do more in your life. If you will become obedient to his will, if you will just allow him to just work into your life. He will expand whatever you already have and plus more and plus more. Okay. And so, um, if we keep reading, it says, do not be afraid. You will not be put to shame. Do not fear disgrace. You will, you will not be humiliated. And so here's the thing. When these new opportunities come, you may be scared. You may be afraid because you're like, Lord, like this is a big opportunity. I don't want to mess this up. Or God, like, I haven't, you know, done this particular thing on this level. Like, this is, this is way above my level. Or maybe you feel like you're unqualified. And so that, that's the thing. You're not going to always feel qualified to do whatever God is calling you to do. But God qualifies the called. He qualifies the called. So you won't always feel qualified. But God is going to call you to do things that you didn't, you didn't even think that you could do. Okay, I know there was there are several things that God has called me to do that I never thought that I could do. I'll give you guys another example. So back in school, um, I played volleyball. I also played basketball, but I wasn't that that good in basketball. But anyways, I played volleyball, and so that was the sport that I was kind of kind of good in. And so with that being said, um, I never made varsity, but I was on a junior varsity team. And so the thing was, I was so mad because I felt like I wasn't good enough to be on a varsity team. And um, I played volleyball, you know, basically the whole time I was in um, junior high and high school. So with that being said, when I graduated from high school, um, I had got a job at like it was like a part time job at um, at the YMCA. And so with that being said, you know, I'm working with the kids. And so my manager, she comes to me and she just randomly says, um, she's like, Paris, she said, did you ever play sports? And this is just random. And I was like, yeah, I played, you know, volleyball and basketball. And so she was like, okay. She said, I'll be back. And so I didn't know why she was asking me this. She went and told the, the sports director at the YMCA that I used to play sports. How about later on, the sports director came to me and said, hey, um, I'm looking for some coaches to coach, you know, a volleyball team. Um, he was like, he was like, they're from the ages of, um, you know, seven to 11. He was like, do you think that you can coach them? And in my head, I'm like, I've never coached volleyball before. But in my mind, I'm also thinking, but Paris, you play volleyball just teach them what you learned and so i felt unqualified but the thing was god was qualifying me to do the job okay i didn't go to school to to be a volleyball coach or nothing like that but god presented the opportunity to me 
okay i had already had the experience as a volleyball player and so god wanted to do more he wanted to expand my 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 territory my, my territory and then not only that it wasn't even about playing volleyball it was the fact that god wanted me to pour into these young women i was pouring into these young women i was giving them hope okay i remember when I remember, I remember when, um, you know, just playing volleyball and, you know, not getting, um, all the, the plays because maybe I wasn't the, the, the best player. Okay. And so here's the thing. I took what I learned or I took what happened to me. I took my experience from, you know, my childhood. And basically when I became a coach, I gave, I, I, I even gave some of the girls that weren't as good. I still gave them more time okay because i believed in them and so i hope that i'm giving you guys examples i hope that you guys are understanding that you don't have to be qualified for a job god will present an opportunity to you he will say hey whatever your name is take take what you've already learned from your childhood or from that last job and i want you to work it into this new position okay so God is enlarging your territory, okay? Ephesians 3.20 says, I would do, basically God is saying, he would do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ask for, above all that we can think about. Some of the stuff we can't even put into words, we would have never imagined. We're like, God, why didn't you choose so-and-so? But no, God wants to choose you. He wants to choose you, Okay? because you're humble he wants to choose you because nobody else wanted to choose you he wants to choose you because other people see you as weak but he's going to make you look strong in front of your enemies okay and so anyways don't be afraid don't be afraid god is going to take care of you okay so just know that god is calling some people um he's calling some people to be enlarged okay their their ministries their brands whatever they're working on or the things that they're not even working on god is going to show them that hey <clears throat> that hey i want to enlarge your territory so anyways with that being said i hope that this video has encouraged you guys um if you guys would like to sew um i will put all my information in the description or either in the comment section but i appreciate y'all i love y'all and i will talk to you guys later bye y'all